Hello everyone, I am Badri Adhikari and I am an assistant professor at University of Missouri St. Louis. If you are starting to record lectures for the first time, I believe that this video will be helpful. Let me start with what not to do. If you record your slides presentation without your video and without your cursor movement, it is usually ineffective and boring for students. Here is an example. Although many people use artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning interchangeably, they are different. Artificial intelligence is a very broad field. Machine learning is a subfield within artificial intelligence that deals with fundamentals of learning from data. And deep learning further is a subfield of machine learning. Clearly, when students watch such lectures, our lectures can sometimes serve as sleeping pills for students. Now I would like to suggest some tips. Tip number one, use the mouse cursor and make sure that cursor movements are recorded. Here is an example. Although the terms artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning are used interchangeably, they are different. Artificial intelligence is a very broad field. Within artificial intelligence is the field of machine learning that deals with fundamentals of learning from data. To increase the visibility of your mouse cursor, you can go to your computer settings and increase your cursor size. Another easy trick is to simply decrease the resolution of your screen. This automatically increases the size of your cursor. Tip number two, use the cursor pen when presenting PowerPoint slides. By now, you probably already understand that narrating behind a static screen is not very effective. PowerPoint offers pen that you can activate using Control P at each slide. Here is an example. To enable cursor pen, I can go to the bottom left corner and click pen. I can also do Control P. Although the terms artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning are used interchangeably, they are different. Artificial intelligence is a very broad field. Here's the big set. And machine learning is a subset within artificial intelligence. It deals with fundamentals of learning from data. Tip number three. It is a good idea to keep your webcam on and place your webcam at some corner of your screen. If your students see your face and uh, you talking, they are likely to watch more attentively. Here is an example. Although many people use the term artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning interchangeably, they are different. Artificial intelligence is a very, very broad field. And uh, machine learning is a subset within artificial intelligence that deals with fundamentals of learning from data. And deep learning is further subset of machine learning. Tip number four, use devices such as Microsoft's Surface along with its pen or a Wacom Bamboo tablet. Almost all online lectures that you see online today are created using such devices. These devices allow you to use your computer screen as your whiteboard as well. You can purchase a large Wacom Bamboo tablet for less than $200. Here is the Wacom Bamboo tablet I use for recording my lectures. Here is how a lecture looks like when you have a device like a Bamboo or a Microsoft Surface with a pen. But for simplicity, we will say it's maximum of all the min values. So we will say min value at node B. Tip 5. If you plan to use an actual blackboard or whiteboard, audio quality and intensity can become a big problem. If you are recording lectures in situations where you may be away from your desktop or laptop mic, I strongly recommend you to purchase and use an external mic. These typically cost less than $40. I personally use this device with a mic here so I can freely walk while I'm recording. Finally, if you have a slightly older computer or slightly slower computer, it is a fantastic idea
to decrease the resolution of your screen and do all the recordings. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it is helpful. This is Badri Adhikari at the University of Missouri, St. Louis. Thank you.